to be my last breath. And then, some people say, I'd like this to be my last breath. But there are a good number of people who feel, no, I am happy to come back. They, they like the life so much. And it is understandable because the idea, if you are brought up as a person, and that's your strongest sense of yourself, and then you are attached to life, you're attached to people, you're attached to things, and the idea of not coming back feels like it's a kind of death. But it's, that idea is really based on, on very poor understanding, in fact. We need to look at what you are attached to presently that makes you feel you'd like to come back. First of all, you have no control over where you would be, who you would be, how you would be. You don't know what religion you belong to or if you belong to any at all. You don't, be, you don't know that if this present uh, body is a male body, whether you come back as a woman, you don't know, we don't know anything at all. And also, you may look at the things you are presently attached to that leave you with such a strong feeling that you would like to come back and take a look at it and really look at it for a while and consider, is it worth it to come back for this? Because this might not be here for you. So it is very much uh, what I want to say today is that uh, in terms of when people say they hope this is their last breath, it really is, I mean, it really is to be birthed in the state, the state of mind of a person. That state is not a very high state. You have no control over your situation, your circumstances, who will be your parents. In fact, you didn't have that when you came into this life also. But you don't know where you will be placed. You will not remember this life that caused you to be attached to the idea of wanting a next life. Uh, there's a past life which you have forgotten that brought you to this life. So. Of course, because we are consciousness, we can't really regret so deeply because consciousness itself is the joy that we are. It is the life that we are. So you love life. But for those who feel this, I would like this to be my last life, they mean that they want to be in a state, not just a place, but a state of being, where they are totally in contentment and harmony with the Supreme Being. They don't want to be in a state that is predominantly um, run by dualistic thinking, by inconsistent thought, by restlessness. They don't want to be in a state where they are confused about who they are, or confused by love or by doctrines or anything. They want to be in a stable state of happiness and joy, to be in harmony with the Supreme Being of the Universe. That's what it means, I don't want to come back. I don't want to come back to that state of mind, not only to that place, because you will not come back to that place. The, the chances of coming back to that specific place, you, may not, you don't have that choice. You may be born again in a completely different place, you see? And you may be born with, uh, with also um, uh, sort of physical impediments, mental impediments, you really don't know. We do not know that. And if you were born with mental impediments or physical impediments, it doesn't really mean that you are at a disadvantage. You may be at a disadvantage in this life, in this world, but internally, this is where you make your, this is where you make your life worth it. Who you are internally, not who you're taken to be by others. So I ask that each one reflect on that, because when you take your first step towards self-realization or towards self-discovery. It is a journey of self-discovering, of becoming more and more subtle in the ways of the truth, more beautiful, more peaceful, more kind, more open, more less judgmental, less fearful. And this is a state, it's not a place. So when you feel that you are the body, you want to be in a place. When you realize that you are the self, you're happy to be in a state, the state of grace, the state that is the Lord Jesus Christ, or 
Prophet Muhammad or the Buddha or Krishna or Lord Shiva or Lord Ram or Sri Ananda Mahima. You see, these are states of being, they're not places. Please reflect on this. Full blessing to you.